and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for some four color planeswalkers. This is our next Tuesday Brews Day deck. Uh, we first, it started really well so far with model white formation. We have two historic decks that we're going to be playing today, also with the two standard decks. The historic ones are both going to be trying to abuse Fires of Invention. Uh, this card that, of course, was not in uh, standard until just recently because of Throne of Eldraine. It's really our only Throne of Eldraine card. <clears throat> so we're basically playing an old standard deck with Fires of Invention. But uh, the ability to play two things a turn, you know, starting on like turn four, two expensive things a turn is really powerful. And so I wanted to pair up Fires of Invention with Oath of Teferi here. Um, Oath of Teferi allows us to activate our Planeswalkers twice each turn. So, you know, you can minus and plus, or you can plus twice, or, and so on. So you, you can um, activate this twice. Um, and, uh, <clears throat> and that would, okay, sorry. I had something I had to take care of real quick in chat. But that's a very, power, that's a very powerful thing to be able to do, to be able to activate your, your Planeswalkers twice. But it costs five mana. And you don't really want to take turn five off just to play this Oath of Teferi. But with Fires of Invention, we can play Oath of Teferi and then another Planeswalker, then a Teferi or a Nicol Bolas or anything like that together. You know, we can just play them at the same time. Um, the other thing that Oath of Teferi does is it does exile a permanent you control and then you return it back back to yourself at the beginning of end step. And so that could be nice with like Othakaya, you know, bouncing Othakaya, then bringing it back and triggering it again. But it could also be nice with Fires of Invention. Like let's say we have Fires of Invention on turn four. Turn five, we play a Nickel Bolas for free. And then we play an Otha to Fairy and just flicker out the Fires of Invention. And then boom, I, I can play another spell with like the mana that I have. So then I can use my five mana and do play another spell. And then my Fires will come back. So we could actually play three spells in a turn because of the Otha to Fairy. But anyway, this this has kind of just been some, some describing some stuff, but I guess I haven't really gotten to the meat of the deck. This deck is um, is a combo deck with Jace, Cunning Castaway, Oath of Teferi, and Nicol Bolas, Dragon God. Basically how it works is we can get infinite Nicol Bolas, Dragon Gods with that minus eight, um, or not really with that minus eight at all, sorry. With the minus five, there we go, with the minus five for Jace, Cunning Castaway, we can get, uh, we can, you know, do minus five with the Nicol Bolas because Nicol Bolas has all the loyalty abilities for the other Planeswalkers. And then make two Nicol Boluses after this minus five. Now, of course, Nicol Bolas starts at four, doesn't start at five. That's why the Oath of Teferi is here because you have to like play your Nicol Bolas that starts at four. You tick up once to go to five and then you minus five. And then you get two more Nicol Boluses and both of them you can just tick up and then minus five and so on and you just exile and by doing that you have you can make infinite nickel boluses and tick up infinitely and obviously you have to you can't do it you can't do it technically infinite because you'll draw your whole deck that's kind of a problem but you just exile all of the all of your opponent's permanents they control and all the cards in their hands so you just you just do it enough to exile all of their stuff and then you can start having your nickel boluses make some two twos um with the minus two with the jays there and uh, they don't have any permits left, and you win. So that's that's kind of like the the goal of our deck. Uh, we're gonna see how it works out um, with uh, <clears throat> with this. We have our four interplanar beacons to help us gain life, also help us cast some of these planeswalkers. Our mana was pretty tough. It's been a little while on the mana. Um, you know, all we need really is the one red for the fires of invention, and so we have ten red sources in here i guess just nine i guess nine we have nine red sources i wanted to get to ten but we got nine red sources to cast fires of invention and as far as white goes the oath of teferi is the only actual white card to cast that's not a planeswalker that doesn't get cast by interplanar beacon um so we have one uh five six seven eight so we have eight white sources um but yeah, that's that's our deck. Uh, mostly blue black control, just kind of. Oh, we have Othakaias to cast also. Never mind, those are also things to cast. All right, let's get to it. So we're gonna be playing over in ranked because the the place to play uh, historic best two out of three is in ranked. So we're gonna start with four color planeswalkers. <clears throat> we'll see how. 
see if we can stay alive for the aggro decks. Like, that's something, you know, like, we're just playing a bunch of Planeswalkers, so staying alive is going to be kind of tough. You notice how I'm playing Ritual of Soot instead of, like, Kaya's Wrath, because Ritual of Soot's a lot easier to cast. Yeah, Storm, yeah, you're going to have to watch that one later. Um, yeah, we, we faced Flash decks four times in a row with the, with the Mono White deck. Hey, and smash. Thanks for resubbing here, getting on that two month streak. Elder spells also kind of a combo with us. We can <clears throat> have our lower cost planeswalkers and and kill them. Uh, and get it so we can ultimate Teferi or ultimate Nicol Bolas, you know, so we can use the Elder Spell combo with Teferi or Nicol Bolas to ultimate them early. Well, that was a terrible draw. I have a whole lot in my sideboard for the control matchup. Because we got a lot of dead cards in the, in the main deck. But hopefully they have a lot of dead cards in their main deck as well. Hopefully. I'll protect you. Yeah, you know, hopefully they have a bunch of removal spells that aren't doing very much. Um, grab the Karn. As Karn, we can still cast. As Kanta, we would not be able to cast. We could have cast the Oath of Kaya, too, but... I've got it. Meditate and prepare. So I need one blue source to be able to play this Nicol Bolas. We'll probably find a blue source somewhere. We have a good amount of blue sources in the deck. Like, blue's our next best, biggest color after black. Here we go. I guess it's just 10, and then the four interplanar beacons. Okay, nice, Wizzy. Awesome. Glad you're doing well with the anti meta Naya deck. That's exciting. There's another blue source. Gone. So I've only put two blue sources down to the bottom, though, I think. Obviously, them getting rid of my Fires of Invention was pretty rough. That's I was kind of digging, <clears throat> digging for another Fires of Invention here. Scry two to the top. 
Whoa. Oh, I only had to discard one, not discard two. Hey to Zooms. Oh, that's this is like a, a friends friends list. Trust me, you'll thank me later. Skip to the good part. Nope. A curious choice. Hey, Radical Guru, good evening. You need to slow down. All right, Karn's going back over there. Man, this is crazy. Well, at least we know in two cards we'll have... I mean, obviously, Fires of Invention would just be the best draw stuff we could have. I can no longer stand by but then Blue Mana would be the next best. This was pretty unlucky by us here. Pretty unlucky. I'm just gonna move to the next game. Cause even with those planeswalkers, we have like the four interplanar beacons that would have cast them, plus ten blue lands, so f fourteen. I mean, we have fourteen blue sources and didn't see a single one all that time. All right, so grasp, elder spell, Chandra, Ashiok, Unmoored Ego, Duress. It's a lot of stuff. May not want all of that, but Moment of Craving, Cast Down, Ritual of Soot, Oath of Kaya can all go. Um, I think I may take out Oath of Teferi, which means that we don't have our combo. Because basically, if we if we have Planeswalkers that are out and activating, we're probably doing okay anyway. It's like them letting Oath of Teferi resolve and countering and killing all my other Planeswalkers. That wouldn't be great for us. And then maybe we don't play Ego. Ego would basically be for 5 mana Teferi and Command the Dreadhorde. Those would be the two cards that I'm worried about for Unmoored Ego. This thing doesn't do anything except 
keep them from countering stuff. I mean, Jace can make two twos that can attack. Jace isn't bad. Just makes two twos. Puts pressure on him. We could just play one, though. We'll take out Teferi and Jace. Could be I'm not supposed to play Eco. Alright, Sulphur Falls can be our first land, and then we'll shock in with Godless, Godless Shrine. Now, I like how Chandra is uncounterable and can kill their can kill Teferi's. Can't counter Chandra. Or give him emblems. So I like Chandra quite a bit. Yeah, go ahead, Lone Wolf. Go ahead. You're good. Thank you so much for for doing that. Well, this time, all we got is blue mana and fires of invention. The only cards that we wanted last time. <laughs> That's all we got this time. Keep an open mind. Oh no! I didn't read that. Oh no, I, I didn't want to get outside the game. No. No, I wanted inside the game. Uh, I guess I'm getting you. I was gonna go grab Chandra. The thing is Chandra could be discarded, but... This isn't so bad, though. Try to keep them from countering stuff. Right on oh, no, no, no! Cancel! Woo! Don't worry. Okay. I got this. Thanks, Lone Wolf. Thank you so much. Why do we just have to have four spells? Just the 
trick for this. Anitran, uh, thanks for the cheers. So Bellhaunt will make me discard this Jace. And Tater at the Twitch Prime sub. Y'all are bringing the hype in here. Man, this has been a high-stress game, isn't it? There's a bunch of counter spells. I'm glad we got this to fairy. Made the right decision the whole time. Meditate and prepare. So smart by getting that, that three mana to fairy. This isn't a fight you can win. I've got time. Okay. I think we were pretty fortunate there, honestly. I think we were pretty fortunate there. Yeah, they don't play like tons and tons of win conditions, and so trying to mill them out is a reasonable strategy, which is what the Ashioks are doing. Uh, this is exactly what we had the first time. Steam vents. Steam vents. Essence scatter? That doesn't do anything. Steam vents. No, they have veto available. I want to show that I have nothing so they tap out for Teferi. <laughs> I don't. If they tap out for Teferi, I get to play as Kanta. Hey, Baloney Pony. Yeah. This might be a bad idea. I am going to need lands. I guess I keep it, but I, I want to put cards in the graveyard, though, for us, Kanta, too. Like, that's also valuable. But I guess they don't get to use they don't get to drown in the lock that because I didn't put the land in the graveyard. That's more like and it. and this being a red source means we could cast Dragon God with this land also. So I have three lands in the graveyard right now. Alright, 
right, well, tell me what you want, what you really, really want. Yeah, the mono light video is sweet. Oh, is the thumbnail ready for it? I realized I posted it without a thumbnail because it wasn't ready. Is it ready now? Yeah. Thanks for reminding me to do that. I need to change that. Okay, so now I have... Now, unfortunately, I have four cards in the... Um, I need to edit. How do I go to edit? Here we go. Now I have four cards in the graveyard so they can counter fires of invention. I guess I'd rather they counter Teferi. That went very, very well for them. Them having Hero of Dominaria on turn 5 also. Um, just another instant speed Thought Erasure. Went really, really well for them. Okay, we got rid of Murderous Rider and Narset to Absorb. We need to a lot of good away. cards. I'm just hoping they're drawing lands. That's more like it. Gotta be kidding me, a third Thought Erasure? No, that was a bad Ashiok. We're going to draw two lands in a row. This might be a bad idea. Yeah, they down take the Teferis. Yeah, they couldn't have thought Erasure again. They just had... Um, it's much more malleable than people think. They had that stop still on, on my upkeep. Get out of here, Teferi. Ah, That's right, perish. Good, two Ascantas and a Narset. Less cards for them to kill us with. Ooh, Castle Ardenville is nice. That's pretty nice. Ugh, Teferi's pretty nice too, though. I'll protect you. So I know that Escanta is the second card. So if I put this card into the graveyard, then we're getting another. Then we're drawing another Escanta. You show remorse. I'll show restraint. No time for a break. No, they they have a counter spell. Essence scatter. Don't worry, I got. You.
There's the third thought erasure. That came at bad timing for me. That Teferi was going to be good. Yeah, Hawkeye's still at the vet right now. He's going to be coming home today, though. He got a bunch of dental work done. <laughs> there goes the essence scatter. You have no weakness that I cannot Alright, third to fairy to go gone. So two big to fairies exiled. One little to fairy. Let's try this. Keep up the pace. No, oh no, I don't think my my opponent's a stream sniper at all. I don't. I wasn't saying that. I was saying that was unfortunate time that they had the thought erasure there for the Teferi. Draw our card first. So we have more information about what to take with Ascanta. I outsmarted you eons ago. Hmm. This Arden Veil is gonna gonna be amazing. It's gonna dominate. I'm giving up a lot of equity to play this and kill the Teferi, but I think it's worth it. By basically sacrificing both Nicol Boluses to kill Teferi. The Teferi gets to just keep untapping the Arden Veil. Suffer for your cause. You okay, is that... I think that's all four Teferis now. No, the decks that are historic have an H by them. If it does not have an H, it was in standard. And so... Making this up as I go. I'm going to just shorten that just to be walkers for this, just to shorten that a little bit on the battlefield. My revenge will be painful. But basically we have the Ascanta. So I still so I still feel good about our chances, even though I just used a lot of equity there. We have Ascanta fires combo. Right on schedule. You know what? I'm not done yet. I mean, I don't have a sweeper though for these one ones. I don't know, maybe this castle's just going to kill us. They have 16 cards left. I feel like maybe this castle just kills us. Here we go. Oh yeah, we have Chandra. Never mind. 
Yeah, good call. We have Chandra. Right, Chandra's great. There's a Chandra. I'm Chandra, the immolation sensation. Everyone knows the bigger explosions are more fun. We need to move quickly. Um... And there we go. Want to know? Thanks, Dubious. <laughs> yeah, post board we're real strong against control. Yeah, the game the game one can be rough, but yeah, we brought in like 13 cards there. But yeah, it definitely helped. Venerable Knight. We just have a lot of inconsistencies playing a four-color deck, though. Oh, what? Right, I guess that doesn't work. Ah, should have played the Isolated Chapel. Definitely should have played the Isolated Chapel. Now I can't play Ritual Set if I top deck it. Which I did not. Well, that was a good hand. Venerable into Worthy into Marshall into two more Lords. Yeah, that was a really good hand. Okay. More removal. I guess Chandra's probably good here. To, um, what do I want to take out? Elder spell. Do I take out combo? Yeah, probably. Okay. I don't think Chandra's too slow. I mean... Yeah, like, we have to have other stuff. We have to slow them down with other stuff before Chandra, but Chandra can help us finish out a game. Uh, where's our land drops? I think we'll just put both dragon gods down to the bottom and keep the hero. I mean, Dragon God's better than Hero in this matchup because making them exile a permanent is more valuable than untapping two lands. But of course, we need to draw a black and a red source to play Dragon God. Can I have Dragon God back now? Oh, 
I want to say that once, what, if we get to six mana, we wouldn't need a sweeper anymore. Still possible that we would need one. Do they just have just one land? I guess so. Darn. Pro Black. Come on. Basically, you know, wanting to save this for like their two drops, like instead, but obviously we can't kill that now, so I'll just cast it. I can no longer stand by. Let's skip to the good part. Please do not play a lord. Please do not play a lord. Darn. Attack me. Darn. I'm getting too old for this. Well, the good news is we get the Benelish Marshal out of here also. Perfect. Perfect. Baby is back. How are you feeling? How are you feeling? Not once. I am one again. Your existence is pointless. You don't seem very happy with me. Okay, another time, Planeswalker. I guess maybe it's supposed to be Azkanta. I'm gonna just grab another Planeswalker. All right, sorry. Sorry, opponent. Weird. All right, he's kind of walking around looking at checking stuff out
<laughs> hey, Hawkeye. Hawkeye is back. He kind of looks a little shell shell shocked, but he's doing good. Hmm. I wish I had two black sources so I could play a ritual set if we draw one. Opponent has taken one mulligan. We'll just try this against the six card hand. <laughs> there you go, Storm. Got your fourth copy of Captive Audience. I'm sure you're pretty excited about that. All right, need to draw something else that costs three or less mana for next turn. It's a blood crypt, so we'll have double black if we draw a ritual of set. <clears throat> they have had a they have had a slower hand though also. Hey Kiki, welcome back. Banalia. I hope they don't have like an unbreakable formation. Keep their creatures alive. These interplanar beacons have been pretty important. We've gained three life so far. Now six life. See, Chandra's still good. Chandra's not too slow. Shiner came right on time. Yeah, got to get that bacon. Especially that interplanar bacon. Hey, Hawkeye. How you doing, buddy? Can I pick you up? Probably tired of getting picked up today, aren't you? You feel heavier. Give you some vitamins. So yeah, Hawkeye just got back from the vet. He's under anesthesia and stuff and got some teeth pulled. But hopefully you're all good now. Uh, we go first. We got a five lander, or a six lander, I mean. I mean, I do like that we have perfect mana, and I do like that we have interplanar beacons. I kind of want to keep this. I'm going to keep it. You want to be a good draw? Search for Ascanta. 
I had him to Hawkeye. Yeah, he just had he had just some really bad teeth that were bothering him, and he wasn't eating. Wasn't eating well because of it. Whoa, lightning strike. Haven't seen that card in a while. Rule smash. Getting these beacons out here. You never know. We may draw another beacon. Questing Beasts is, is a card that I do not have a good plan against. I do not have a plan like whatsoever against Questing Beast. Sorry, I'm late. Keep up the pace. No, you don't have to untap your opponent's land. I was being nice. So yeah, I did keep the six lander, but I was hoping to draw a little bit more spells. But yeah, the gruel deck. I mean, I basically just have like Noxious Grasp in the sideboard. I don't have anything game one for it. So yeah, I don't know about I don't know about all these moment of cravings. I I assume they are playing smaller creatures though also. And the moment of cravings can do stuff and, and but I guess like two moment of cravings can kill a questing beast or a moment of craving plus an Othakaya. Should I play Narset or Duress? Duress or one of these other cards? No, I'm not gonna ego questing beast. You don't have, you don't really have time to cast on more ego against the gruel deck. It does change a little bit if we'd have fires and invention, we'd be able to have a little bit more time. But nah. Brutal. Cinder Vine's real good. Cinder Vine's real good. Whoa. My retribution 
Why you do this? I should have ticked up Karn first. I'm no I really like tucking Llanowar off though because that means they're gonna have to draw a Llanowar off here in a little bit. And that's very good for me, they're drawing Llanowar off. <laughs> yeah, why didn't I tick up first? No, I should have done that. Time for a break. Your patience is rewarded. It's possible I just I will spare you. Okay, there we go. I was gonna say it's possible I just like go grab another interplanar beacon with the masterminds acquisition. I don't know, I can I can probably just kill them though next turn. I mean, they are dead next. If they don't kill my planeswalkers, they just don't do anything. Because we would just go grab Elder Spell and then Elder Spell and put the counters on Nicol Bolas. Or yeah, we could go grab both both of Teferi also. Oh, the Teferi would be nice. So we get to do the, the cool Oath of Teferi party trick. Exile the Fires of Invention. And now we get to actually cast our spells. <clears throat> cast more spells. Cindervines is kind of rough. I played like two duress. Maybe it's the one duress. Yeah, yeah, we played mono black control in historic. Yep, we've done that. Okay. Yeah, there's the, on YouTube. There's the there's the different playlists on YouTube, and one of them is historic. And so you can you can search through the historic decks there pretty easily. Um, maybe I should just have a standard playlist, like a just. Where you know basically all the the regular standard decks go. I didn't really think of that. So I need to draw black mana, of course. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, seven, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. There's fifteen black sources. I don't love the hand, but I, I don't hate it either. I mean, it, it can work out well. That's the best non-land draw that we have. Rude. Let's deal with the Cinder Vines. Why is it so rude? What's the deal with that center vines? And why is it even more rude? I 
know my responsibility. There goes nothing. Just means that they want to play Cinder Vines again. It takes, you know, it just takes time. And that's what Teferi's doing here, is just slowing them down. Yeah, they don't get to play the other Cinder Vines right now. No, I liked when they didn't have four lands. Yay, no questing beast. I'm not gonna play the Fire Zone Invention this turn so I can hold up cast down. They could kill Pelt Collector. And so if they have... <clears throat> they do have like a Questing Beast. Or if they just go like Domri's Ambush like they have been. Of course they attack here, we get to trigger the Othakaya. Cool, got to gain two life. There's the ambush. Make another move. Hurry. Which means I'm going to be killing it with Nicol Bolas. Let's tuck it, actually. I want them drawing. Pelt Collector. In two, in two turns. I want them drawing a 1-1. One, one. You know what? I'm not <laughs> Hey, James. Yeah, there's your highlighting... Message system, it works. I advise that you yield. I need some candles. Look, is it just me? Or is it getting a little warm in here? Um, draw a card. We need to move quickly. Are you certain of your decision? <sighs> Give me that nickel bolus. Rude. Let's get toasty. I'm known for my excellent fight. Trust me, I have a plan. All right, three and zero. Beat control and beat couple aggro. Fires and inventions being really good. <laughs> yeah, the Teferi is definitely gluttony in the deck for sure. But think of how good Oath of Teferi would have been there. That is really cool, playing two spells for free off Fires of Invention. And then, and like the second one being Oath of Teferi that exiles the Fire of Invention until end of turn. And then you just get to use your mana and play whatever you want still. And then your Fires comes back. That is pretty crazy. I know, right? Ho hopefully we get to see, the, hopefully we get to do the infinite bolus combo at least once. Oh. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, how many non-rare non-mythics are there in the deck? Not many. Oh, yeah, I guess I guess Beacon's not a rare. Yeah, so Beacon, Cast Down, Narset. Um, that's probably it. Yeah, I, I think I have one basic. I think I threw a basic in there just to have one. The mono red menace. Ow. Yeah, let's be honest. Yeah, Narset definitely could have been a rare. That is true. Good call there. I could use a another spell to play here, another four or less mana spell. But we're not gonna get one. But I could have used one. Alright, so we're gonna go. See, this is where Oath of the Fairy is really cool. So we're gonna go Nicol Bolas. Activate. Will resonate throughout the multiverse. My scheme. Oath of the Fairy. Flicker. Activate again. They just conceded! Uh, I was gonna play, so they're gonna exile something else. I was gonna play the other Nicol Bolas, not Teferi. I was gonna play the other Nicol Bolas and then tick up twice again on Nicol Bolas. So we we're gonna have four, we had four Nicol Bolas activations that turn five. And so they're just gonna, not gonna have permanents left. <laughs> Uh, so they're just not going to have anything left. <laughs> that was a turn. That was a turn. Yeah, effectively infinite bolus there. <laughs> Yeah, it would be it'd, it'd be great to have a spark double in here. I, I don't know if we could fit it in here though. Okay, against I think Chandra may be a little slow against mono red. Maybe. I think these these decks are a little you know mono red's a little faster than gruel and like basically the other creature decks like mono red's not just a creature deck because all those spells they can have kind of want to play one oath of teferi though we're gonna do that we'll play one oath over jace the thing about Ascanta in this deck though is with fires of invention it's just kind of broken I think we have to just keep Ascanta in because of how powerful it is with Fires of Invention. Get him, Cerebus. Get him. Light up again. Alright, come on, hit like Bunch of three drops and four drops. Darn. So they, you know, hit like a bunch of things that are too expensive for them to play. Yeah, 
Yeah, go ahead and play that frenzy. Why not? Let's try this. Wow, they did. Well, we win next turn. There's always an answer. If my opponent does not kill this Jace. If they don't kill the Jace, we win next turn. Because of Fires of Invention. Don't kill Jace, don't kill Jace. Don't kill Jace. No, are you kidding me? Why are you doing Jace? My schemes, they're never ending. Here, get out of shock range real quick. Let's think this through. All right, y'all ready for this? This game is over. They're going to have to exile every single permanent they control. Weak minds there we go. We just do that over and over until they exile all their hands and all their permanents. We don't, we don't actually like deal lethal damage, but we just get rid of every single thing they possibly have, and they are just top decking. And Yeah. <laughs> it's infinite bolus. Turn five. <laughs> Do you guys think that opponent is super pissed or amazed? It's a good question. I don't know. <laughs> you think you, you think they're loving it? Yep. Yeah. Eventually, yeah, we would make like twenty two twos. We'd make a bunch of two twos. We could, yeah. So like they'd be dead the next turn. But yeah. How'd you do that? I saw it, but I don't believe it. Yeah, Jace, Jace is minus five. Makes, you know, two, you know, it says Jace because that's like the name, the name of the card. But that works with, that works with other card names too, you know, like, so that's, you know, basically create two to tokens that are copies of Nicol Bolas, Dragon God, and so on. Um, Goblet Shrine, Drowned Catacomb. Gotta triple double check these lands. Good job, Choco. You got to Platinum. Way to go. What are you doing taking my Jace? Yeah, so the the bolus tokens are just more more regular nickel bolus. So they have, you know, they're they're exact copies of nickel bolus. So they have the the passive ability and and the three abilities of nickel bolus. Yeah, Fires of Invention has definitely made this deck a lot better. Boo. Change for eternal servitude. I outsmarted you eons ago. As Kanta doing real work over here. I have other schemes to attend to. 
Yeah, we got other schemes to attend to. <laughs> That's a good Narset. We put three lands down to the bottom. That's good. <laughs> Sorry, Vestard. Joker of the bird. Where are we at? We're at five right now. I have just the trick for this. Hmm. Where are they at? They're at Five in the graveyard also. that thing to flip. Ugh. I guess ours isn't flipping either for a turn. Yeah, I think I think USC should probably be favored against the Hawkeyes in the Holiday Bowl, but it'll be a good one to watch. I know the Hawkeyes haven't; they don't have they don't have like great uh, practice times. Like they haven't been able to practice a ton um, because it's like right. Like, it's just kind of like a, a shortened time between the last game and the bowl game, and uh, they had a lot of finals and stuff like that. I, I read, like, I don't know, I just read some article on The Athletic how they're talking about they're not going to be able to practice as much as they would normally for a bowl game. So I could either keep going Emblem... Or draw and make them exile? I think I'm going to go emblem. Alright, I was going to go emblem. Alright. Elder Spell, Grasp, Grasp, Duress, Chandra, Ashiok, Ego, let's see, we take out Soot, Oath, Moment, Cast Down, I missed something. This is still this is sixty four. I guess we took out Othakaya's last time. Othakaya and Jace. Othakaya does kill Narset and three man the, the three mana walkers. It does kill those. Yeah, so I either play Jace or Eco. Of course, Ego's for Big Teferi. I think I'll play Ego. Now, there should probably be a fourth fire fires in here. Didn't really find room for it, but yeah, there should probably be a fourth fires invention in here. That card's really good. Um, if I was just playing off stream for fun, which historic deck would I queue up? That's a good question. Uh, 
not sure. I make you up. I am not going to sit this one out. These that we've been maybe like like this. Like this oh, is a fun I've deck to play. Hero thing before. I don't know. I'd probably say that like no matter what we were currently playing. Wipey ad. Brand new Twitch Prime sub. I've got it. Thank you so much, Swipey Ad. Welcome to the channel. Yeah, historic elf deck. Yeah, my I really like the historic elf deck. That's a good one. My hand's pretty loaded. Probably taking Dragon God. Could be as can't tell also though. It's the Ashiok. will bend to my will. My intellect is without limit. Ba, 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 ba. Well, I like where we're at. We'll see what they got. That's a good sign for me. Probably looking for another Thought Erasure to try to take the Chandra or a Duress. Here we go. See it to fairy. Well, that's just game. Might as well activate these first just in case something weird happens. streams to attend to. That's pretty good. Man, another 5-0. Back-to-back 5-0s on Tuesday Brews Day. On Tuesday Brews Day. Yeah, this is even 5-0 Friday. Where we get all of our 5-0s. I guess it's 5-0 Tuesday now. So there we go. This deck was a lot of fun. Fires of Invention was awesome. That really helped out the deck a whole lot. I'm glad I played all the Interplanar Beacons. I thought about not playing the Interplanar Beacons and, and you know, went back to play them. I was really glad that we had those. Um, yeah, this another awesome deck here. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is, yeah, 5 0 Breeze Day. Um, so there we go. We got to play. We got to face two Esper Control 
um, a mono red, a gruel, uh, a knight dex. You know, we, we got to really see kind of what, what uh, Historic's about right now. It's a pretty rudimentary format where you see a lot of aggro and a lot of control. Uh, there's not really the stuff in the middle right now because it's just very easy to build aggro and control decks, and so that's what we see a lot of. Before color planeswalkers, getting it done. All right, yeah, time to end the stream, I guess. <laughs> okay. We'll see if we can do another one here with Boros Aggro. All right, those of y'all watching on YouTube, I hope you really enjoyed this deck. I sure did. You know what to do. Hit that like button over there and leave some comments. Let me know what you think about the deck. And if you're trying it out at home, let me know how it's going for you over there as well. But thank you so much for watching some Infinite Bolas, four-color Planeswalkers, and I'll see you for the next video.